Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabta fillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem in surah al-Baqarah Kayfa takfuruna billahi wa kuntum amwata fahyakum thumma yumitakum thumma yuhyikum thumma ilayhi turja'un Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem Kayfa takfuruna billahi wa kuntum wa kuntum amwata how can you disbelieve in Allah when you are lifeless? Then he gave you life. Then he will cause you to die. Then he will bring you back to life. Then to him you will return. So this Ahabatifillah, it shows us the marahil, the journey and the stages that human beings go through. And Imam Sa'di, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, regarding this ayah, he says, this is a question which is intended to reflect, reflect astonishment as well as to rebuke and denounce. In other words, how can you disbelieve in Allah who created you from nothing? and bestowed upon you all types of blessings. Then he will cause you to die when you reach the appointed time, and he will requite you, requite you in the grave. Then he will bring you back to life at the time of the resurrection. Then to him you will return and he will repay you in full, meaning you'll get the full recompense of how you live this life as you are under his control, encompassed by his kindness and subject to his commands, after which you will be brought to account. Is it befitting for you to disbelieve in him? Can that be anything other than great ignorance and foolishness? Rather, what is befitting for you is to believe in him, be aware of him, be grateful to him, Fear his punishment and hope for his reward and hope for his mercy, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the status or this is the hal or the condition of the mu'min. The mu'min is aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is cognizant and acknowledges Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship. Directs his or her worship to Allah azza wa jal. Reflects on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his signs, in his verses, and reflects and contemplates the mercy that comes from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and the many ni'am that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides us with, and that the mu'min is fearful of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hopes for his reward and his mercy. So we, we should want Jannah. We should want the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the striving, the little bit that we did in this life. And we should fear for the great amount that we did in this life, the great amount of sinfulness. What we did is sin and what we plan to do is sin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue, continually bless us with his mercy and his favor. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us to be of the those people who are conscious of him, those people who have taqwa Allah who adhere to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and who avoid his prohibitions. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.